Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today in a new video. So in today's video you're going to see a real-time tutorial of drawing a bulldog nose in colored pencil. I always find that bulldog noses are a little bit different from, uh, for instance, Labrador noses. They're a bit more textured and a bit differently shaped. So. I thought it would be really fun to do a real-time tutorial now and this is also this month's project on patreon so if you're interested to learn how i create a whole portrait like this the whole process will be uploaded on there in real time so that will be on patreon and i wanted to show you the process of creating the nose so yeah, I hope you enjoy watching. The materials I use are polychromos and luminance on Kenson 1557-180g paper and a few other materials that I will mention in the video. I also mentioned the colors, so I really hope that you'll find this video interesting. Feel free to draw along if you want. And uh, yeah, enjoy watching and then I'll catch up with you at the end of the video. All right, let's get started with the nose. I always like to outline my nose first. I'm just doing that with black. So I make sure my black pencil is very sharp. And I'm going to start. So the English Bulldog and the French Bulldog as well have very short noses, short heads and short nose bridges so the nose itself is very flat. Also lining out the nostrils. Then the edges here are a little bit lighter, so I'm just lining that out lightly by adding circular motions.
I keep comparing my outlines to the reference to see if the shape is still correct. The nose is of course a very important part of the face, so I want to make sure that it has the right shape. Adding the center line. All right. And then of course this center line continues and goes to the lips. So now I am going to fill in the insides of the nostrils so I have the darkest areas in place and based on that I'm going to judge the rest of the values in the nose. Although this nose doesn't have a lot of color in it, it is mostly just very textured. Alright, so I've zoomed in a bit. Uh, now after outlining the nose, I want to add some color of course. So there isn't a lot of color, but I can see some brown. I can also see a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue. But I'm going to start off with paint grey. I'm going to start off with adding some color to the edges. edges of the nose are quite light here. Bane's gray is of course quite blue. So, if it gets too blue, I can always add some dark sepia to contrast that. Here I see a bit of a pinkish strip. Not sure what that is, but I'm going to leave it open.
taking some dark sepia now, darkening up the edges a little bit. And I'm going to build up the color slowly by working in circular motions again. And the rest of the nose is quite dark, so I'm going to move on to black soon. But I'm using dark, dark sepia now for the lighter areas on the nose that I don't want to use black on directly. So here there's a little bit of a lighter strip, so I'm leaving that open. Going to add a little bit of paint gray here on this strip, as it is a little bit of a little bit bluish looking, a little bit right here as well, and then a little bit of indenturing blue on top to enhance the blue. Now I'm going to go in with black straight away. These little patches, patches can be darkened up as well. And I'm also going to get started right away with the texture. So I'm going to draw in all these lines and round shapes that I see with black as it is so dark. And I'm going to take some time for this. I'm not going to copy the photo completely here. But I'm going to create similar textures.
And you can see all those little dots, highlights. So this is going to take a while, so take your time for this, there's so much texture in this nose, it's more actually than usual, more than with other breeds of dogs. And I continue adding this texture over the whole surface. Some lines are darker than others, so I try to vary in the, uh, the pencil pressure. I make sure to keep my pencil sharp.
Alright, almost done with the texture part. Let's see if I've missed any areas. Alright, so the contrast now is really high. So now it is time to put down a base tone on the whole nose. To tone down that contrast. But still we want to make sure that these uh, textures still show through. So I'm going to start off with the base tone. I see a combination of warm and cool tones. Let's start with dark sepia again. Then I'll be adding some cooler tones as well. So I'm going to put down a light base layer, very light. And here and there, there are some highlights on the nose, some very bright dots and I'm going to leave those open I'm going to keep it pretty random though, I'm not going to copy everything that I see on a reference photo but I do want to make sure that I do leave some tiny dots open And I just put down a light base layer working in circular motions. And here we have a lighter area, so I'm leaving that open as well. Also adding the dark sepia on the top half of the nose. Here the very top has a warm tone, 
But this part looks more cool. I see more of a bluish tone there, so I'm not going to add any dark sepia there. I will probably add paint gray and some blue on top on that area. Taking dark sepia, no, paints grey, sorry, paints grey, putting down a really light layer of paints grey on this little strip that I left open. This is usually the part that is highlighted as it catches the most light, but because um, the nose is pressed into the skin so much on this breed, the nose doesn't really get highlighted because there's a piece of uh, skin hanging over there, so not a lot of very bright highlights on this nose, except for the textures. And then I'm taking indenthrine blue, and I'm layering that on top very lightly. I like to start off light, it's always easier to add more color than to get it lightened up again if you've added too much. I'm going to add some here, maybe some here as well. Then some there. Some more value in there. And then I also want to add some brown. I'm going for a walnut brown. I want to get as much color in there as possible. And the reason for that is that it will just be more interesting to look at. The nose is a pretty important part here in this portrait, so I want to make sure it is as detailed as I can make it. I'm going to darken up the center line a little bit more because it's actually really dark on the reference. Make it a little wider as well, using black.
Now I can start building up more depth, more detail. And after that we can start burnishing. little bit more color alright so you can see now that even before burnishing it looks kind of good already but I want to smoothen it out a bit more so I'm going to focus mostly on the parts that are the lightest and the parts that needs to be that need to be really smooth here on the side for instance and just below the nostril and I don't want to lighten up the very darkest parts like the center line so I'm going to avoid that going to burnish this top half as it is a little bit of a smoother part on the nose Alright, so that's it for now. So now I've lightened up a lot of areas and I think I'm going to go for the black luminance now. Where is my black luminance? make it really sharp and I'm going to use this to darken up the darkest areas that I've lightened up too much it works really well on top of burnished areas so that's why I choose to use this one now instead of the black polychromos So I'm just going to put some of the texture back in. I keep looking at my reference photo all the time. I'm being quite rough to the paper now. 
So make sure to use paper that can handle this type of pressure and layering. I would say to use at least 180 grams paper. That's what this is, but thicker than that is preferred. I wish they had this paper in a, a thicker version as well, but I don't think they have it in anything heavier than 180. Alright, so now to add a bit more color, I'm going to add some Caput Morton Violet, as always. I'm going to add it mostly here. A bit here as well, to contrast the amount of blue that I put down there. Alright, finally, the final details. And then I'm going to take the white gel pen, which is not archival, so I wouldn't do this if I were to sell this drawing. So I could just leave it like this, the nose, but I want to give it some extra highlights, so I'm going to add some tiny dots of pen you can also use um, the touch up texture and titanium white mixture I still didn't get it myself but this is not archival but I'll just add some tiny tiny dots to recreate the tiny dots that you see on the actual nose itself. Right, so not more than that. And, um, oh, I forgot. This little strip thingy, not sure what it actually is. I've added some medium flesh. Bit of burnishing. Don't want to make it stand out too much. So after adding the final details, this nose was finished. And then I went on with uh, the rest of the dog, the lips, but that will all be on Patreon. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and then I'll try to answer. Any suggestions are always welcome. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.